Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Drink While Playing Pokemon Green, or whatever I decided to call it. I still haven't decided. Anyway, I'm Gonzo, and I did a little off-screen training and catching, but I won't let you see it. So anyway, we're here on Route 20 whatever, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna fight Gary. Yeah, so if I'm out of it more this time than last time, I'm just gonna let you guys know I just finished a drinking game of my own. On my own. I was watching... Oh shit, what's it called? Delegated. So fancy. I was watching... Uh, um, Cabin in the Woods. And it had some redhead lady that I thought was... That didn't do much at all. White shit. It's lowered. Oh god. White shit. <laughs> White shit. Oh yeah, I had some uh, redhead lady that I thought was... Uh, um, Emma Stone. That's her name. And I had the, the dude who played Thor... Yeah, so I'm probably just going to be talking about that, so if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, like, the rules, I didn't know what it was about going into it, so I'm just like, uh... How about, like, every time I say, you better not do that, or you better not go there, don't go down to the cellar, delegating shadow... Is I wanting to change? I is, I is wanting to change. We're going to Mr. Orange, or in this case, as you're about to see. Matt, oh wait. What, which Nidoran did? Oh yeah, I caught the male Nidoran. Oh yeah, so it is Mr. Orange. Originally I caught a female Nidoran, and it was going to be Madam Orange, but... I found this, and I'm like, I like Nidorinos more than Nidorinas. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Uh, oh! Yeah, so I'd take a drink every time. I'd say, like, don't do that, or don't go there. And, uh... Every time someone died was two. Every really bad one-liner, or catchphrase, or... Something you say before you kill someone, whatever you call those, that was too. So yeah, I'm... I'm good. Feeling really good right now. And we... Oh, this battle's over. Bye, Shadow. And an unnecessary critical. Drink up, everyone. Very smooth. <clears throat> <coughs> oh. Yeah, don't... Larva of flies in alliance with... Wait, wait, what? I, I should probably think of a method to pass through there. Through the... Something with the flies and the larva? Go ahead quickly. I can't go ahead because that guy won't let me through. Wait, in the Japanese version it's just... Is it a layer of flies? To... Whatever. Ah, damn it. So anyway, about that, uh... Cabin in the Woods movie. It, it was... It was a neat concept. I, I liked it, but... I don't know, I just think it could have been... Executed... Better. I was gonna say more better. I'm not that drunk yet. Yet. Anyway. I don't know, it seemed like they... I like that they incorporated a lot of different, like, horror stuff, like clowns. I think I saw the, the creepy-looking twins from The Shining and werewolves and cuckoos and shit. Yeah, you know... Zombie, this guy is no longer dead. He's... Wait, drunken? Shit, he must be watching my videos. Are you very busy? Yes, I am very busy. Time is money, and money... Something about time. Did we already grab that thing? Yes, we did. Because there's a potion hiding in there. Now we are on route... 
something or other. Oh yeah, about the movie. Yeah. It seemed like they hit every horror movie stereotype right on the head, which which I kind of liked. Huh, that guy is lost. I don't remember if we have to catch something in here. But let's see what Caterpie's name is. Katap. Oh, that's not clever at all. Boo! Nah, I don't think I planned on catching a bee drill. I've used a bee drill before. Because I tried beating the game with really crappy Pokemon. And I think it was like yellow version a while back. Hooray, level up! Time for a drink. <clears throat> and yeah, Beedrill, I mean, good attack, but shitty special and defense. So what are you? You are a monster ball. Ball full of monsters. Or is it a monster's testicle? We're about to find out. Maybe not. Ooh, what? Beetle. No, that is definitely a Weedle. Beetle. It's a worm or caterpillar, not a beetle. Maybe I would have called them Beetlejuice if I caught. Well, no, wait, I'm going with a different theme of names here. Ah, what the shit. I tell you what, those fucking cataps, they will not leave. Oh, fucking cataps! Oh, you're a metapod. Or a talan. Talon. Whatever, you're gonna die now. <laughs> Metapods. Uh, I don't feel like commentating through this battle. Yeah, don't, don't even try, like, what that guy said. Or at least I think he... I thought he said. Juvenile! He's definitely a bug catcher. Fucking beetles. Yeah, so, I don't know. It, it was an okay movie. <laughs> Ram with horn. <laughs> I mean, it was... Alright for a horror movie, although I found myself laughing more than jumping. I kind of, I wanted to watch something scary, because I I saw The Conjuring a few weeks ago, and by far one of the best horror movies I've seen in a while, if not ever. Cataps! Yeah, I remember, where was it? It was almost near the end of the movie, so I was... I was feeling good then, and uh, the uh, stereotypical high guy, or the um, the funny man. I can't think of the word. Whatever the high guy, he finally catches on because like, whoa. Because, like, his... The dope he was smoking, like, negated the effects of whatever toxins or pheromones the scientists people were putting in the air. So, he caught on and saved the, the Emma Stone-looking lady. And then, uh... Shit, where were they? They found, like, an elevator, and he's like, Oh, should we go down? She's like, I don't know if we should go down. I'm like, shit, I'd go down. I'm like, wait a second. What am I saying? But I probably would have. And then they found like all the different monsters and shit, and then they all killed all the people, and then teach! They gonna learn today. They gonna learn today. Teach. Alright, teacher. We're gonna ram you. I'm gonna ram right into our teacher. Uh, take that. Whoa, I think the teacher likes it. Oh god, ram with horn. Just just say horn attack. And harden. Instead of getting hard. Masochist. There's a masochist. Masochist. I abuse you and it makes you hard. Level up? No. We're delegating a beetle. No, we are going to stick it out with Nidoran here. Or Mr. Orange. 
Yeah, I don't know. One thing that I really didn't like about uh, um, <sighs> Cabin in the Woods, I didn't like that like the zombies weren't like correct zombies. And I know anyone who's who knows me, I always complain. Ooh, level up. I always complain, they're like, oh, the zombies can't run, or zombies can't think, they don't know how to use weapons, and this and that, and everything that's wrong with them. Oh, hello. Detoxicate cure. Okay, I'm guessing you're like, antidote, or poison, stopper, whatever. Anyway, back to the zombies, because they were like the first haunted thing they experienced. Oh damn! I planned on cutting that battle out and continuing where I was, where I left off, but I I don't remember where I was conversation-wise. I know where I am now. Wound cure, yay potion! I need to get Mr. White up some level so we can learn some grass moves for the next gym. Oh yeah, so there's the thing right there. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, zombies! Yeah, like, the zombies there, they, I mean, they were fully aware of what they were doing. They were using knives, and one of them had a fucking bear trap on a chain, and he's whipping it around. And if you're trying to tell me that a zombie is smart enough to take a bear trap, somehow connect it to a big old eight feet worth of chain and then be coordinated enough to swing it around like a whip or like a lasso and latch on to people N no zombies are stupid those zombies are stupid and I don't know I, that's why I can't watch like most of the new zombie shit like warm bodies seriously zombies do not turn back into humans they're dead. Like, anything with, like, running zombies, no. World War Z, I could never watch, even though... Rattan Whip? What the fuck's a Rattan? I'm gonna- I'm just gonna guess it's a Vine Whip. Rattan! It was the sound it makes. Rattan! Rattan! Shit, what was I talking about? Talking about zombies. Oh, fuck. Ninety dollars as a prize! Hooray! Prizes! Oh! Like, yeah, like, running zombies, World War Z. Like, I love Max Brooks and all, and his zombie... Where the hell am I going? But yeah, like, the, the zombie survival guide that he wrote... ...is probably the most accurate depiction of zombies you'll get, aside from Walking Dead, which they've impressed me. I mean, I was... I don't think I'll cut this one out. I was talking to a friend of mine, and we were just talking about, like, different zombie stuff, and I brought up Walking Dead being the only accurate depiction of what zombies would actually be like on, like, on the screen, TV, movie, whatever. And then uh, he said, well... That may be true, but Walking Dead hasn't done anything revolutionary for for the the genre. And I, I have to disagree. Mainly because it's uh, um and I was distracted by Nurse Joy there. We can finally buy potions and shit. Oh yeah. Walking Dead is revolutionary because, uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Hold on, I gotta get these. Distractions, distractions. Uh, I gotta do math. Leave hole. What the shit? Leave hole rope. Oh, escape rope. Burning cure. Awake cure. Oh, I'll need that for the, uh... Fucking Jigglypuffs. And I gotta sell this because you can't poison a poison type. Just 50? What? 
use U.S. dollars for quoting prices and settling accounts. Is that a statement or whatever? I want to sell it. Can't poison a poison type. Oh, Walking Dead, revolutionary, because it's the only thing accurate and it actually gives the viewers, like, an accurate depiction. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, let's let Orange fight until he dies. Fight me! Wait a while, is there anything to do, little boy? I'm older than you. You said you'll challenge Tarbuk, Tar, Tarbuchi. It's earlier, 10,000 light years. Wait, it measures distance, not time? Wait. I forgot what he said. Something about 10,000. De good. <laughs> Dig Dug. Hey guys, you look a little lost. Inside joke I have with a friend of mine about Dig Dug. <laughs> Dig Dug. Oh man, I'm hungry. But... Okay, another story to tell you about why I can't eat what I want right now. So after I watched uh, Cabin in the Woods... I started watching another horror movie. Ah, oh, shit, what was it? Um, Session 9, I think it was. It's on Netflix. I'm like, okay, I'll just watch another one since I didn't get my horror fix. Horror fix. From Cabin in the Woods. Oh, that's a cute little sand shrew. Desser, Deezer, Desir. Oh yeah, so I, I'm watching Session 9, and uh, it hasn't been too scary. It's kind of slow, and it's dragging on. Kind of disappointing so far, but I don't know, just... Things that have to do with, like, demons scare me a lot more than, like, just hack 'em up slashers and... Oh, I didn't get a level up. Hack them up slashers with a bunch of blood and gore. Doesn't indicate time, it indicates distance. Well, duh. I don't know, that, that's one thing that I really have against most quote unquote horror movies. I have to actually say horror. Come, I'm the. Head Tarxy of Rainbow Pet. What? Head Tarxy of Ra Jim. Pet Jim. Rainbow Pet Jim. My insistent will reflects in my pet. Oh, insistent will reflects in my. I thought he meant assistant. Insistence and tolerance. Right, huh? Because he's the only black character in Kanto region. Is used. Is used is not a complete sentence. All our rock types. Oh, um. No, I believe I have a grass and poison type. Everyone knows it will lose. Hey, I'm a person, not a thing. Still compete? Is the characteristics of pet trainer good enough? Use some spaces there. Tarxy or Brock or whatever your name is supposed to be. Come un. Oh, my spine. Alright. Yeah, Tarxy. That's his name. Tarxy has made a challenge. Actually, I'm the one making the challenge. Stone. Oh, that's very creative for Geo. At least this Geo dude doesn't look like he's trying to hitchhike. Rattan Whip. It's a weed type instead of grass type. Quick, get stone high. Get stone stoned. <laughs> Puns. And speaking of getting stoned, yiwa. I got nothing for I got nothing for that. Anyway, about the getting stoned. I've been watching Breaking Bad. Noise! Oh god, not noise. Onyx looks kinda sad in this sprite. Look, look at how sad he looks before he dies. 
is just the effect is extremely good. It's it's just amazing, like the best it's ever had. And bye bye, sad Onyx or Yiwa. And just like that, a level up, a gym badge, a defeated trainer. I've won the con contest with Tarxi. You, comma, space, comma, seem to neglect its slight- What do I neglect? What? Confer you a gray badge emitted by Alliance Pet as a certificate you've won me. I've won Brock? Fucking awesome. I mean, I've won Tarxi? Fucking awesome. Oh yeah, Alliance Pet makes it sound like some... Oh, now he's... Tarchik. Torchik! Fucking Torchiks! I heard, like, whatever... What's it? What's Torchik's last evolution? Blaziken! And, like, the new X and Y, it's got the new... Fancy... Mega... Evolution... Thing, whatever. So Brock is gonna get a Mega Evolution, because he's Tarchik's. Or Tarchi, or... Skill Machine! Known, otherwise known as TM, which I don't know what the T stands for, but I think the M stands for machine. The better is to cons uh, tolerance. I think that's bide. Yeah. Bull, a punitive expedition. <laughs> We're going on a trip against in one vigorous effort. It is an interesting skill. Very much so that I'm just going to sell it right out. You didn't do shit, did you? Bastard. Just follow me around. <laughs> yeah, there's one easy way to turn watching Breaking Bad into a, a drinking game that'll just ruin you. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. I'm back. Did I heal yet? No. Oh yeah, Breaking Bad drinking game. Every time Jesse says bitch, drink. That's the one and only rule. Yeah. I don't know who came up with it, though. I saw it somewhere online. Might have just been a joke, but I watched an episode. Just kind of just picked one from... What am I on? Season 4? Yeah, season 4. But especially in the early seasons, it's like, bitch this, bitch that. Uh, do I want to take these people on now? Yeah, you people deserve longer videos. I'll battle this chick. What? I'm gonna look at you. Cause you're the- you looked at me. Hey, wait a movement. How do you wait a movement? Just now, you peep me, do you? Peeps. Ah, oh, sweet, delicious marshmallow peeps. Mini skirt. Just the skirt is fighting me. The the girl wearing the mini skirt is not. Because remember, children, when you're in Japan, women are things. You are defined by what clothes you wear. Fashion is everything. Appearances are everything. Personality means nothing, and my white shit has been lowered again. Heh, <laughs> bird. White shit. Oh god. Oh, kill the thing. Stop sprinkling sand! Alright, if this- okay. Clearly, I'm getting blown by birds. Alright, we're just gonna send Mr. Orange out. Undercover cop. We're just gonna ram you right in the face. Ah, Suck it. Blow that. 51, 51. Uh, we're just gonna stay with, with Mr. Orange here. Fucking Tim Roth. Oh, wait, so. Yeah, if you don't know what the theme to the nicknames are, then you need to go watch yourself some more Quentin Tarantino movies. And another level up. It has been such a good day for Mr. Orange. 
And we remembered Poison Needle, or Poison Sting. We won a contest against a skirt. I can't bear nay more. Can't... Ugh, seriously? A fucking typo? Get your shit together, translators and spell checkers. She can't bear anymore. She can't take any more of the load. Just gonna ram her with the horn. She can't take any more. Just, just the tip. Alright, so before I pass out or throw up or something... Oh! I still have to tell you why I can't get the fruit snacks. Nah, I'll save it for the next video. Okay, bye.